The iconic Las Vegas welcome sign is at the south end of the main strip, sited on a traffic island in the middle of an eight-lane highway. All Las Vegas hotels are huge, and many have exotic themed designs. My hotel was the New York New York, which has over 2,000 bedrooms and no fewer than eight cash machines to serve as its ground floor casino. It even has a scale replica of the Statue of Liberty out front. The Paris Hotel, however, trumps that with a half-scale version of the Eiffel Tower. Although Las Vegas is in the Mojave Desert, many of the hotels have lavish water features in their grounds. The Venetian Hotel ups the stakes with its replica of Venice's canals, complete with gently circulating gondolas. Caesar's Hotel boasts no less than 18 fountains and elsewhere fountains and waterfalls feature indoors as well. The indoor features are of course designed to encourage people to come inside to test their skills or try their luck in the vast gambling halls. North of the main strip, the Fremont Street Experience, is a large-scale pedestrian mall with a few twists. The first is an eight-wire zip line ride that runs nearly the full length of the five-block mall, and above that is a canopy which acts as a giant screen when daylight fades. Four zip lines are low level for zipping seated, while the other four are set higher for those wishing to fly horizontally, Superman style. The casino lighting displays are modern recreations of traditional styles. At ground level, there are multiple street performers dotted along the arcade. After dusk, there is a schedule of hourly shows when all the other neon lights of the bars, casinos and shops are turned off and the designs created by 12 million LED lights that make up the canopy can then be seen to full advantage. Back on the main strip, night had seen all the buildings transformed by floodlighting and a multitude of neon lights. My favourite night show was in front of the Bellagio Hotel, where their spectacular fountains danced around in the eight and a half acre lagoon. The sheer scale of it produced plenty of appreciative oohs and ahs from the onlookers.